Hi, good afternoon. This is Jackie coming at you from the Stitch and Post. And today's demo is going to be on making coasters. These are very simple. They take one seam, six pieces of fabric. So let's get started. Okay, I actually have all my steps laid out here. So step number one down here is my six pieces of fabric that I chose. These are five inch squares, so you can actually use charm packs to make them. And this is a selection of our charm packs that we have right now. We do not have the fruit fabric. Sorry about that, but it was very, very cute. So I start with six five inch squares and a piece of, this is shape flex. And it's fusible on one side and not on the other, okay? Then we're going to take the shape flex and we're going to, we, first of all, you're gonna pick two pieces for your inside and, and the bottom of your coaster and then four pieces that'll be on the top. So you need like four pieces here, okay? So I'm doing the pepper and the corn. And I tried to do that throughout the whole series here. So I take my two inch, my two five inch squares. On one of them, I press the shape flex to it. And then I take the other four pieces and I'm going to fold them point to point on the diagonal and just press them. Press all four, okay? So there's my four pieces here. Then the first step, oh, we've got this all together now. Just lay it together, don't have to sew anything together yet. And then we're gonna go our next step here and we're gonna start laying our triangles on top of this. So I took my first one and just doesn't matter where you start, lay it like this, so the point's in the corner. Then the next step, you're gonna do the second one and just lay it on top of that. And you're actually just gonna go around, as you can see here, one, two, now number three, my corn's covered up. This is a little tricky, but not. So our fourth piece, here's where we are here. I'm gonna lay my radishes on here. I'm gonna pick up this piece and slide the radish underneath, okay? Here we go. Then, now you just wanna pin them all in place. I put him down here towards the corner because we're gonna sew it next. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece and I'm gonna sew it. It'll look like this. You can use your regular foot on this. I prefer using a walking foot because it gives you more space in between your, your foot and your bottom of your machine there. And this is pretty thick because we've got two, four, we've got six layers of fabric in here. Start someplace ooh, in the center of one of these. And if you put your needle in the down position, much easier to sew. So when you stop, your needle will be down. I moved my needle all the way over as far as I could. I don't know if you noticed that. Now, when you come to the pin, pick it out without going over it. Okay, and then come to a quarter inch from the end. Turn. I'm going to do one more stitch. Turn it. I think quarter inch is right along here. And if you had your regular foot on here, it would probably start bunching up in here. Walking foot makes it so much easier. Take a pin out. And I normally wouldn't use great big flower head pins because that is pretty big, but I want you to see the pins. And it doesn't really matter what color thread you use because that's going to get covered up. You're not going to see that thread. And did I say it's one seam? It's one seam. Okay, come on down to the end. Quarter inch. One more corner. Okay, when you come around this corner, you're gonna sew to this, the start point and beyond it a little bit. You don't have to back back. Okay, take it out. Now, this is where I kind of mess up on this because I get a little too antsy. You're going to trim your corners. Don't cut too close. And what I mean by that, see where that line is right there? Don't cut too close to it. I did, and my little poker poked right through it. Okay. Now, you can leave it like this, or you can trim a little bit more off each side, make it a little easier to turn. Come on.
Yeah, these are Kai scissors. They're fabulous scissors. I love the Kai scissors. Uh, someone mentioned nice sharp scissors. Yes. Now we're going to turn it inside out. Just put your fingers in here and turn, turn, turn. I try to be a little gentle when I do this. Now I have a really cool stick. A chopstick will work. A knitting needle will work. If you're fortunate enough to have a thing called a stuff it, which we have not been able to find anybody carrying them anymore, you just poke out the corners gently. I have gone through them. That's if you cut it too close to that corner when you trim it, you could uh, end up having to oops, go right through it. Got to make sure you get under all, all those fabrics. We're at this point, so we've turned it. Now we're going to press it. A little Aliso iron works really nice. And you could, oops. All right. Oh, my corn's on the bottom. Okay. That's your coaster. It's done. You can actually do a top stitch around it if you like to. But say you have, you're having a wine party and you have a bunch of different coasters, you can actually open those up and slide the bottom of the wine glass in there. And then it goes wherever the wine glass goes. So when they put it down on your furniture, the coaster's already there. That is it. Now, we do, um, this is Valerie's new line of fabric, Grace. It's not available right now, but it is available for pre-order. And then this is what the little packs look like. These are little five inch squares. You can get six coasters out of each pack of 40 squares. So that's not too bad. And the little squares, I think they're all $15, just to let you know. And that's it. If you've enjoyed, thank you. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like our YouTube and subscribe. Thank you very much.